This is Master, No Pencil Marks, and Microsoft Sudoku. This is my favorite category, but it's kind of difficult to explain logic without pencil marks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play, kind of think about what I'm, what I'm trying to do, and then I'm going to list all the logic down below. So right now I'm looking for hidden singles. I see a seven there. And once again, if you want more specifics, look at the bottom of the screen where I have the logic for each move. But right now I'm just looking for hidden singles. I'm on the sevens. So I'm going to see if I can finish all the sevens and looks like I can. All right, so continuing with that, I'm going to see if I can do any more hidden singles. Uh, the ones don't seem to produce anything. I'm going to move on to the twos. Right, I do see a three. And another one. And, um, if you want to see one where I am listing all the coordinates, then I do have that. But I feel like general strategy is better than listing every single coordinate. But if you are interested in that, it will be below. Uh, let's see. So I am still on the hidden singles for a bit. I see eight there. All right. Now, normally I would mark the pair in box four, but I'm just going to say it. It is a two five. Can I use that 2-5? That actually makes a 2-5 in these two squares in box 5, so that's interesting. So that means these two squares or cells are a 8-9, which means these two are a 4 and 6. Cool, I can use that. Alright, see if we can do anything else with that. So my, my immediate thought is to use the 6 in box 9. But it doesn't look like I can just yet. It just pushes 6 into these two cells. Uh, let's see if I can do anything with the 4s. I can. That makes this a hidden 4. And this a hidden 4. Okay. Anything else? Checking recording looks good. Box, or excuse me, column seven now is interesting. It is a five and a nine. And then box nine is a five, six, nine. Okay, so six is just a hidden six. That's good. Now we got a 5-9 as a pair in both column 7 and box 9. I don't think I can quite use that. Um, let's see. 9 is interesting in box 7, but I still can't really do anything. It knocks out this 9 because this is a 9 pointing set. It has to be in one of uh, these two. So it can't be in here. But I can't use that information quite yet. All right, so I'll start moving on to or possibility restricted cells. So box seven is a one, two, five, nine. Okay. Okay. Column or row seven is a. One five eight. No, it's not. It's a one five nine. Oh, I do see a hidden four, and that means this is a full house for three. Okay, and that means this is a three. Can we finish threes? No, it looks like we have a bug on threes in box two and three. A oh, temporary. It's not a permanent one, but a temporary bug. Uh, let's see, moving on. Uh, 
any sixes I can do. I can. I can do this six. And this one. So that finishes sixes. Box two is two, three, eight, nine. Okay. So threes are in these two. And eights are in these two. Anything with two and nine. Not at the moment. Okay, um, and that is, that's what's great about this category, is it makes you spot pairs, triples, and quads without pencil marks, and that is a really good skill to have. Uh, oh, I just saw a pointing set. So one has to be in column two in box seven, which means it has to be in this, this cell right here, because of this one. So that's pretty cool. And that gives us a one there. Oh, and it also makes makes you spot pointing sets and basic X-Wings without Snyder's notation, which is also a really good skill to have. All right, uh, 2589 in box one. Okay. Where do I want to go now? Well, I know these three. So these three are, well, these two are two and five. So these are eight, nine, and one, one, eight, nine. That doesn't really help yet, unfortunately. So these are also two, five. Okay, so. The middle's pretty stuck at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it be for now. Column one is a another two five. It's a lot of two fives. Can I do anything with the multitude of two fives? Hmm. Unfortunately, they don't touch. So that might come back later, but at the moment, I don't see anything. Uh, let's see, going back to column seven is a five nine. Okay. Let's see if we can do something with column nine, which is a two eight nine. So this is the part where pencil marks would pretty much bail me out. If I was using pencil marks, I'd probably already see the next one, but since I'm not, it's a little bit more challenging. Okay, so now I'm doing row three, which is a two, five, eight, nine. I don't see anything with that except for eight being Locked candidate into these two. Two, five, nine. Oh yeah, and five is pushed into these two by the same logic, except it's in box two. See, this is a two five, so two can't be here. Does that help? Two eight nine. Not at the moment. Okay, fours are done already. I'm just gonna go back through hidden singles to see if I missed something. All right, uh, ones are bug at the moment. Twos. Two, 
two open. Threes are... Threes were bug, right? Yeah, threes are bug. No, they're not. No, they're not. That's three. And that's three. Okay. And bug stands for body value universal grave. Basically, think of like... Um, let me see if I can come up with an example. So, let's say two could be here and here and here and here. Then um, you don't know which one is actually two, so they're just kind of stuck. That is not a true example. I was just giving a baseline example, but that is not a true example right now. Uh, box two is two eight nine. Oh, I guess I could give the example of one, right? One was bug, I think. I'm trying to spot it again. Actually, that's one's a pointing set. So one must be here, here, and also there. So one has to be here. So that's a little pointing set. Okay, and that, yeah, that pushes one into a buck. All right, so one must be here or here because of this one and this one. So it must be here or here. And it also must be here or here because of this one and this one. So one must be in one of these or two of these four squares, but we don't know if it's this one and this one or this one and this one. So that is a by value universal grave, a temporary one because that will be resolved eventually. But at the moment, it is not resolvable. We need another number to intervene. And so that's what, when I say bug, that's what I mean. Uh, let's see. Row two is a two, eight, nine. Does that help? Not on that one. Uh, let's see if I can do any, th anything on the twos. Oh, two, two pointing set. So two cannot be here. So it must be on one of these two. So that means two must be here. So a cool little pointing set. I also knew that from um, this pair, last pair, because two was in this box, so it had to be there. So that was the easier way, but there are usually multiple ways to come to deduce a number. Uh, I would say on harder, harder puzzles, not so much, but on uh, easier techniques, occasionally there'll be more than one way to come to a deduction. Uh, let's see, I haven't done column two yet, have I? That is a two, five, nine. Nothing on that. Column eight is a five, eight, nine. Okay, this is, I already knew that. I already knew these two though, because of these, but this is an, it's not an eight, nine, so it must be a five, a two, five. That's right, because these are two fives, these are two fives. And this is a conversation you wouldn't normally have, because if you use pencil marks, you would like, well, of course those are two fives, I've already marked those, but that is part of the challenge. It's basically memorization as well which makes this category a little bit harder, but in my opinion, more fun. I really like Master No Pencil Marks. Uh, let's see, the cool thing with eights, so check this out. So because eight is here, eight must be in these two, 
Got it. Because eight is here, and we already know eight must be in these two, so this can't be eight. Eight can't be here either. So these two must be eight, which means eight must be here. And that is a double pointing set. So that's a pretty cool double pointing set right there. And then full house nine. Let's see. The last two in column nine are two and eight, two, eight, which means these two are five, nine. Unfortunately, still doesn't help. That's crazy. So now we have this, 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 and this all being five, nine. Okay, have I checked the last pair on column six? It is a eight, nine. Okay. I think now I go back to hidden singles just to make sure nothing changed. Looks like ones are still bug. Uh, two. No, I can't do anything with two yet. Four? I can, I can do fours. Four there. Okay, that was just the, the last four. So just a naked four. Uh, let's see, five. Actually, that was a hidden four, but whatever. Fives. Actually, I'm going to do box, box eight, since I just did that four. So box eight is a one, five, nine. No, okay. Going back to fives. Anything. Okay, not at the moment. So moving on to eights. And we have a eight pointing set over here, but that doesn't really help at the moment. And also a nine pointing set here. Oh, that's interesting. So we have a nine basic X-Wing. So it must be in row one and row three in box uh, two and three. So it must be in these two in box one. Can we? Yes, because of the pointing sets, nine must be here. So that's pretty cool. That was a basic X-Wing into a pointing set. Uh, let's see. Row two is now a two and eight so we can just hidden single our way in full house through that okay to here all right the puzzle's looking close this is sweet this is free all i have to do is deduce what's remaining in box one so box one needs a five and eight so this must be a Four, right? Yeah. No, not a four. Must be a five? No. Uh, learn to count, Sean. Okay, so this is a five and an eight. So a two. Third time's charm. It's a two. And this must be a five. Great. And let's we'll see, box one, we just did it. Box one is a five eight. Okay, we're coming down to the wire. I think one more good solve, and I think this puzzle's done. It's just finding it. All right, uh, row seven. 
let's see, 159. Can't do anything. This is also a 159. And box 8. The same thing. So there must be a 5-9 pair there. Mm, okay. Let's see, column 6 is a... 8-9 pair. Alright, um... 8-9 cannot be here. These are a... 2... a 2-5 pair. And this is a 1... 1-8-9. Oh, 8 is free. My bad, guys. 8 makes a pointing set, so that means this is an 8. And then full house for five. And then five just hidden. And that'll probably clean up. I just have to be careful because now is when I'm likely to make an error. All right, so full house here is a nine, right? Yeah, so I'll full house here with a five. Full house here for a hmm. You wouldn't think this is the most like because the puzzle's done, right? But that is when I'm most likely to make a stupid vision error. <laughs> so I'm trying to be really careful. So a two. And this is a nine. So let's just stick with nines. So nine pointing set, so nines here. And then... Seriously? Okay, I'll do ones then. Anything with ones? No. Wow. Okay, um, twos. Two basic X, no, not basic. Not big basic X-Wing, just a two here. So that will be a two here and here. All right, we'll do this full house, which is eight. And then this is an eight. Great. And let's see, one there, one there. And now we can just alternate. So this must be uh, five, so nine, five, nine, five, and that is master, no pencil marks. Have a good one.